So a question that I've been seeing every once in a while is basically when should you go ahead and replace your iPhone battery life? So this basically means your battery in general, not just your battery life, but your iPhone battery in general, when should you go ahead and actually replace it? Now, this is kind of a complicated question because there's not really like a one size fits all situation for these types of devices. You know, for one, there can be, you know, a particular iPhone holder that has a you know very good iPhone and very good time with their iPhone, but you might notice that sometimes your battery health kind of goes down. Other times when you have an iPhone, let's say like an iPhone, you know, 6S, and you're having it on like, you know, 80% or 70% battery health, that can be very, very detrimental to that life of that iPhone. And you might be better off if you just replace that iPhone battery sooner than later. So in my opinion, the best thing I could probably tell the average person, if you're wanting to go ahead and basically, you know, replace your iPhone battery is that, hey, if you have, you know, basically below 80% on your iPhone battery, that's when I should go ahead and would recommend the average person to replace your battery on your iPhone. If it's still above 80%, I think you're basically okay. But that does come with a few things. One, is your iPhone experiencing a lot of like random shutdowns or random power offs? If your iPhone is randomly shutting off or it's randomly powering down or, you know, random things like that, that can actually be attributed to your particular iPhone battery health. And that can possibly end up causing a lot of issues for your particular iPhone. And I do think for the most part, if you're in that situation, you would probably be better off if you actually go through and replace your iPhone battery for the most part. That in and of itself would be another massive thing I'd recommend doing as well, because you don't want to be in a situation where you're going through. And once again, you know, having an iPhone that has a very very faulty battery. But another thing that may end up happening is if you want to, you can also go through and replace your battery health. If for some reason your battery is just experiencing a lot, you know, worse battery than it was experiencing before. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically you might be seeing that your particular iPhone is, you know, let's just say the battery isn't as good as it used to be. You don't really think it's a software issue. You don't think it's another issue. It could potentially be a battery issue. That's another time I'd recommend replacing your iPhone battery as well. You can just go through, replace your battery you know, in the way that I just mentioned, going into the Apple store, replacing your battery that way. That's another thing I'd recommend doing too. Again, it's not a perfect situation, but that's another thing that you can possibly throw in there if you really want to go ahead and kind of replace your battery from that standpoint as well. Finally, if your performance is lagging like crazy, let's say you have kind of a newer iPhone, it's like two or three years old, and your performance is just dropped down like crazy. Sometimes this can be due to the battery life as well. So once again, you can go through, replace your battery life, or replace your battery in general, and that's another thing I'd recommend doing as well. So those are pretty much the main things that I recommend doing for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.